Marshall Universe Preview Note before watching, the video contains spoilers. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss new video updates. Season 8, Episodes 13 Lin Dong meeting Lin Kuang Zhu again? Dazzling lightning tore apart space like an ancient thunder dragon. Accompanied by an indescribable madness, it flashed across the sky. Finally, it slammed heavily onto the black array under numerous shocked gazes. Boom! The entire place appeared to turn completely silent at the moment of impact. Soon after, an overwhelming lightning glow and black light violently swept apart in a wild manner from the point of collision. It was just like a luxurious lightning fireworks. Lightning flashed like a falling star that spread over the sky. It erupted in all directions before drawing countless number of orbits in the sky. Finally, it landed in the mountain range, bringing about a loud rumbling sound. Everyone was startled when they saw the shocking collision in the sky. A fight at that level had far exceeded the territory that Lin Dong and Kaoyu could reach. Just a little remanent ripple from that collision was sufficient to crush a 5 Yuan Nirvana stage expert until nothing remained. Lan Ying and the rest on the mountaintop were dazzled as they stared at the lightning glow fireworks in the sky. Destruction filled that beautiful scene. What an abnormally fellow. Ching Feng inhaled a deep breath. His tone was filled with shock. He was really somewhat unable to imagine that such a terrifying attack had come from Lin Dong, whose strength was merely that of 4 Yuan Nirvana stage. It is likely that no one in this hundred empire war is able to receive this attack. This fellow had actually hidden so deeply. Lan Ying was touched as she slowly nodded. It was likely that even Qin Tian would not dare to receive this attack by Lin Dong head on. From this, everyone could tell that if the two of them were to engage in a normal fight, it was likely that the champion of this hundred empire war would definitely be Lin Dong. The genius experts from the various empires beside Lan Ying also nodded. Even these arrogant individuals had no choice but concede after witnessing Lin Dong's attack. While everyone were adopting praising expressions, Qin Tian, who was supported by the arm at the side, had a completely gloomy expression under his lowered eyes. His fists were tightly clenched. There was an extremely dense jealousy and dissatisfaction in his eyes. With his talent, he had been looked up by countless number of people ever since he was born. Even in this hundred empire war, where numerous talents had gathered, he also stood at the peak and overlooked all his competitors. However, he did not expect that he was actually directly defeated by Kaiyu from the western Xuan region with a single strike. On the other hand, Lin Dong, who had come from a low-rank empire, had became their savior. At the same time, he had also became the most dazzling person in this hundred empire war. This position originally belonged to him. Qin Tian clenched his teeth with great force. His eyes were filled with dissatisfaction and hatred. Bang! Lightning glow raged wildly in the sky. Finally, it crazily struck onto that enormous black array. That dark array also trembled intensely under the frightening attack from the lightning glow. Waves after waves of black light continued to spread. However, before it could form an attack, it was scattered by the wild and violent lightning glow. Kaiyu had an extremely gloomy expression as he looked at the black array trembling intensely from behind it. He could clearly sense the terrifying pressure that eroded over the array. That kind of pressure caused even him to feel shocked. Big Brother Cow, the array does not appear to be able to block that fellow's attack. Chang Wei and the others looked at the trembling dark array in fear. Without realizing it, the teasing expression that was originally on their faces have completely disappeared. Instead, a trace of horror vaguely appeared. Where are Luo Tong and the rest? Cao Yu clenched his teeth. Regardless of how unwilling he was, he no longer dared to act arrogantly at this moment. Big Brother Luo Tong and the others have been blocked. It seems like our plans were leaked. Those super sex experts from the Eastern Chuan region have begun to infiltrate this realm. A person beside Chang Wei spoke with a pale face. The experts from the Eastern Chuan region have arrived huh? Cao Yu's expression changed slightly upon hearing this. They did not bring many people along for this mission. After all, if a large number of them were to invade this space, it would definitely be detected by those super sex of the Eastern Xuan region. Although the Eastern Xuan region sex continued to fight repeatedly amongst themselves, the Western Xuan region was a common enemy of theirs. Once these super sex were to discover that they had entered this ancient battlefield, those super sex would definite dispatch experts over. At that time, their group would definite end up being outnumbered. It is all thanks to this damn brat. Chang Wei gritted his teeth and said. If it was not because of this person's sudden appearance, it was likely that they would have already finished the formation. How else would they end up in this kind of miserable situation? Big Brother Cao, the array is about to be broken. Cao Yu's expression was dark and solemn. 
He was just about to think of some countermeasure when a sharp voice was suddenly emitted from the side. It shocked Cao Yu to the point of hurriedly turning his head. There was indeed numerous slight crack lines appearing on the large array that hung in the sky. This was a sign that the array was about to collapse. That bastard. Cao Yu involuntarily cursed. He did not expect that with his 6 Yuan Nirvana stage strength and the heaven ceiling array, he was still unable to block Lin Dong's attack. Cao Yu's heart felt quite stifled. He clearly knew that it was impossible for Lin Dong to beat him if they were to fight head on. Furthermore, he could only stack these three trials together once. In other words, Lin Dong only had one opportunity. However, it was this single opportunity that caused him to feel incomparably stifled. Crack. However, regardless of how he felt suffocated or furious, the crack lines on the black array did not reduce because of it. Instead, they swiftly became dense. There was a slight cracking sound vaguely being emitted. Crack crack crack. The cracking sound became increasingly loud. A moment later, the black array had already instantly been covered by crack lines. Quick, withdraw. Cao Yu's eyes immediately shrunk upon seeing this scene. He was aware that he was unable to block any longer. All he could do was to clench his teeth unwillingly, wave his hand and withdrew quickly. Chang Wei and the rest beside him were also frightened until their expressions changed. They were aware that if the wild and violent lightning glow was to pour over, they would definitely end up dead. All of them immediately retreated hastily. Bang! When Cao Yu's group chose to flee, the enormous black array finally reached its limit. Finally, it emitted a bang under the attack from the lightning glow and completely burst apart. He has actually shattered the array. Lin Dong has won. Everyone on the mountaintop watched this scene. A wild joy surfaced on their faces immediately. They were aware that Cao Yu's group, which had lost the protection of the array, would definitely lose their most powerful tactic. The battle between Lin Dong and Cao Yu also finally ended with the former gaining the upper hand. Bang! The array was shattered. Monstrous lightning glow wildly penetrated through it like a lightning dragon. After which, it contained an incomparably wild and violent momentum as it rushed out crazily. Bastard, it's not over yet? Cao Yu and the others, who had retreated explosively, looked at the wild violence of the lightning glow. Immediately, their expressions had become extremely ugly. Let's attack together. Cao Yu let out a low roar. Chang Wei and the others could only clench his teeth upon hearing Cao Yu's low roar. He prepared to maneuver his Yuan power to attack with the others. Swoosh. Just as they were about to attack, however, that incomparably wild and violent lightning glow suddenly whistled past their head. It actually did not attack them. This scene caused Cao Yu and the rest to be stunned. They immediately turned their heads around. He wants to rescue the experts from the super sex. The lightning glow tore through the empty space like a thunderbolt in front of the frightened eyes of Cao Yu's group. After which, it directly smashed towards the black seal in the distant sky. The interior of the seal prison currently trapped the old man from the path sect and the others from the super sex. Lin Dong clearly understood that defeating Cao Yu and the others at this moment would not resolve the problem. He must help the old man from the path sect and the rest to escape. This was because they could only completely resolve the problem after they escaped. Otherwise, just one random person from Zheng Zhang's group would be able to deal with all of them, who belonged to the younger generation. Cao Yu, what are you doing? Zhen Zhang, who was doing his best to trap the old man from the path sect and the rest from outside the Black Seal prison, was also shocked by this sudden attack. His expression became green as he cried out explosively. They were currently having an even match with the old man from the path sect and the others. Any little external interference would cause all their effort to come to naught. Cao Yu's expression was pale white. His face was filled with bitterness. He had also done his best but he was ultimately defeated by Lin Dong's crazy move. Bang! Lightning glow wildly poured over the Black Seal prison. Immediately, the entire place trembled. After which, Cao Yu saw numerous crack lines begin to surface on that seal prison. It is over. Cao Yu's heart immediately sunk when those crack lines appeared. He was aware that the operation of their Western Chuen region would likely end in failure this time around. The main reason for the failure was actually because of a little fellow, who was only at 4 Yuan Nirvana stage. Clang. The incomparably wild and violent lightning glow frantically rammed into the seal prison. As terrifying energy seeped out, even space itself started to twist and distort. Crack. Crack spread rapidly on the seal prison, and upon seeing this, the expressions of Zheng Zhang's group turned ashen. They knew that if the old man from the Dao sect and rest were to escape, trapping them all again would not be easy. Strengthen the seal with everything you've got. Zheng Zhang roared in a low voice. Just as he was about to activate the power of the heaven sealing array, 
numerous extremely frightening undulations suddenly erupted from within the prison. Clearly, the Dao sect old man and the rest were making use of this chance and were crazily unleashing all their attacks. Crack crack. Under the all-out attacks of the Dao sect old man group and the lightning glow, the cracks on the seal prison swiftly extended at a shocking rate. Oh no! The seal prison is about to break. When he saw this unstoppable destruction, the expression of a shady looking old man beside Jung Jong changed, as he cried out in alarm. Bang! Before his cry could fade, his pupils suddenly shrunk tightly. The seal prison had begun to swell rapidly at this moment. He could only hear a shockingly loud sound as the seal prison exploded. Frightening energy ripples swept across the sky like a huge wave as eight rainbow lights flew out from the explosion, before swiftly scattering. Damn it! Upon seeing the now free Dao sect old man and the rest, Zheng Zhang immediately became extremely furious. His red eyes turned to Kao Yu as he roared, you useless garbage. You can't even deal with younger generation members who have yet to enter the super sex? Kao Yu's group wore faces full of shame. They also felt incomparably stifled and wronged within their hearts. Normally, the people here would be completely outclassed by them. However, no one had expected the appearance of someone like Lin Dong. This fellow fought in a manner that completely defied logic, summoning three wind lightning trials the moment he appeared. Moreover, the most unbelievable part was that this fellow was actually able to harness the power of the wind lightning trial to break their defenses. Zheng Zhang sir, it is all because of that brat Lin Dong. He summoned three wind lightning trials, and even though Big Brother Kao used the power of the heaven sealing array, he was still defeated by that brat. Chang Wei explained bitterly. Lin Dong? Zheng Zhang eyes hardened. His dark and stern eyes swept over and immediately locked onto Lin Dong. Under such a glare, Lin Dong immediately felt a chill around him as his heart suddenly shivered. The blood soul puppet appeared in front of him while his face filled with caution. Now that the wind lightning trial had dissipated, he had lost his greatest trump card. Even though his mental energy had already soared to the four seal heaven symbol master level, he understood that it was still not enough to bring him anywhere close to Zheng Zhang's level. After all, the latter rivaled the super sect elite. Ha, Zheng Zhang, are you not ashamed of threatening a younger generation member despite your status? Is the skin on your old face really so thick? Just as Lin Dong was taking precautions, an elderly figure suddenly cut in front of Zheng Zhang's gaze. Lin Dong looked over only to discover that it was the Dao sect old man known as Wu Dao. Ha, this little fellow has done well, and has done us a great service. If he is willing, he can become a direct disciple of my great desolate palace. That expert from the great desolate palace laughed loudly. His laughter was like thunder that rumbled over the entire sky. This little fellow's performance is worthy of being the champion of this hundred empire war. The pretty woman from the nine heavens supreme purity palace also remarked with a smile. Lu Tong from the Yuan Gate frowned slightly upon hearing this. He glanced in the direction of Qin Tian, a trace of displeasure in his eyes. Clearly, he was a little resentful that the latter was unable to stop Kao Yu. Qin Tian lowered his head even further upon receiving Lu Tong's gaze. His fists tightened until cracking sounds could be heard. Humphrey, Wu Dao, Lu Tong, it is a little too early for all of you to be celebrating. Even though you have escaped, do you think that we are unable to deal with you? Zheng Zhang's expression was dark and cold, while a furious smile hung on his face. With the heaven ceiling array, you are indeed rather powerful. However, as long as we are no longer trapped in one location by you, we will be able to disrupt all of you, causing you to be unable to establish the formation. As time goes on, the experts from our Eastern Chuen region will naturally come and assist us. At that time, I would really like to see what else you have up your sleeves. Wu Dao smilingly said, Zheng Zhang's expression sunk immediately upon hearing this. He laughed coldly, go ahead and try. Do it. A cry was emitted from Zheng Zhang's mouth. Immediately, the people behind him suddenly began to form a series of hand seals. Space wriggled as a terrifying black light once again surged out. Kao Yu, kill all those that hinder us. While Zheng Zhang was preparing to attack, he also let out a stern cry towards Kao Yu. Understood. Kao Yu nodded heavily. He immediately turned his head around and venomously stared at Lin Dong, before his sinister voice rang out, Now that you have lost the wind lightning trial, let me see how else you can retaliate. Lin Dong merely smiled a little in response to Kao Yu's vicious gaze. His hands slowly spread out as majestic mental energy spread apart. This surging feeling was many times stronger than what it was before. The current Lin Dong not only possess a Yuan power cultivation of the 4 Yuan Nirvana stage, but his mental energy cultivation had also reached 4 seal heaven symbol master. 
With the two, he would even be able to fight against a 6 Yuan Nirvana stage expert. It would no longer be like before where he barely posed a threat. Cao Yu's pupils shrunk slightly when he sensed the vast and mighty mental energy from Lin Dong's body, while an additional trace of genuine seriousness appeared within his eyes. Before, Lin Dong was someone who needed to rely on tricks in order to contend against him. However, the current Lin Dong could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a 6 Yuan Nirvana stage expert. Being able to attain such accomplishments in mental energy and Yuan power cultivation is testament to your ability. This Hundred Empire War of the Eastern Xuan region does indeed have some true worth. However, even though you can fight against a 6 Yuan Nirvana stage expert, you still cannot match up to me. Cao Yu laughed coldly. Lin Dong did not refute these words. Qin Tian's strength was also at the 6 Yuan Nirvana stage. However, he was defeated in one single move when Cao Yu activated the power of the Heaven Sealing Array. The reason that Lin Dong could withstand the earlier attack was completely due to the usage of the Blood Soul Puppet. However, the Blood Soul Puppet had paid the price was now practically ruined. Just do it. Regardless, the current Lin Dong did not have any intentions of withdrawing. He extended his hand and smiled slightly towards Cao Yu. At this moment, he only wanted to rely on his own strength to battle against Cao Yu. Stubborn fellow. Cao Yu's eyes turned cold. He finally ceased uttering any unnecessary words. His hand seal changed into strange black light once again surged out. It vaguely transformed into a black skull surrounded by a thick black smoke, which released a sharp sonic wave. Heaven Sealing Skull. Cao Yu waved his hand and the enormous black skull immediately rushed out. Accompanied by thick smoke as it swept towards Lin Dong with a great momentum. Space itself became distorted wherever the sonic wave passed. Lin Dong's eyes were grave as he observed Cao Yu's attack. He was just about to maneuver his Yuan power and mental energy to fight with his opponent when his expression suddenly changed. He had discovered that the space in front of him was actually starting to wiggle. After which, a figure appeared from nowhere. A hand thrust forward as majestic Yuan power surged forth and crushed the skull until it exploded. Who? This sudden scene also caused Cao Yu's expression to change drastically while he cried out in fury. Ha! Dao Sect Disciple, Zhao Qian. The man wearing pale white clothes in front of Lin Dong raised his head and laughed towards Cao Yu. A disciple of the Dao Sect? Have the experts from the Super Sex arrived? Lin Dong was also startled because of this. Friends from the Western Xuan region, news of what has happened within this ancient realm has already been transmitted to the various Super Sex of the Eastern Xuan region. Currently, the experts from the various sects are hurrying over. If everyone hesitates a little longer, it is likely that all of you will be trapped. The white clothed man appeared and blocked Cao Yu. After which, he looked into the distance and chuckled as he spoke out in a clear voice. What? Have we been discovered? The expressions of Zheng Zhang's group changed drastically upon hearing this voice. They suddenly turned their heads and discovered that numerous distortions had appeared in the area. It was possible to see numerous blurry figures gradually appearing from these distorted spots. From their clothes, one could tell that these people were members of the super sex. The experts from the eight super sex have arrived. Lin Dong raised his head and looked at the distorted spaces, a trace of surprise in his eyes. Were these the disciples of the super sex? They did indeed possess extremely powerful auras. As Lin Dong's gaze swept across the distorted spaces, the surprise on his face suddenly started to freeze. His lips were pressed tightly together as his heart began to beat even more intensely. The spot where his eyes stopped it was yet another distorted space. However, there was a figure standing elegantly at that spot. That cold demeanor and appearance was the same as it was a couple of years ago. Ling Quangju. At this moment, Lin Dong's fist slowly tightened. The empty space distorted, forming a black tunnel. There were already over a dozen figures that had already arrived through it. Lin Dong's eyes were currently glued onto a spot at the front of the group, where a beautiful figure stood. The beautiful figure was wearing a light green dress which complemented her tall, soft and lovely body. Even from a distance away, one could see her flawless snow-white skin. A piece of gauze covered her face but the outline of her almost perfect features were still visible. Paired with her flowing eyes, it made the world seem as if it had lost its colors. Barefooted, she gently stood atop a green lotus like a daughter of the moon palace or a fairy that had fallen to the mortal realm. A sight that could not help but make many feel inferior. This appearance was exactly the same as four years ago. However, her cold demeanor was even colder than it was back then. 2. Lin Dong's body trembled slightly as he raised his head and exhaled deeply. He forcefully suppressed his heart, which had not felt so restless in a long time. Unknowingly, four years had passed since then. The immature youth back then had unwittingly become a young man. 
He had walked out from a low rank empire and arrived at this ancient battlefield where geniuses were as numerous as the clouds. In the end, he managed to stand above everyone else. When Little Martin had instigated Lin Dong to participate in the Hundred Empire War and be honed by it, the former knew that Lin Dong had agreed partly because of one sentence that the lady known as Lin Quang Ju had said. If you wish to repay me for rescuing you, we can talk about it after you possess the qualifications to participate in the Hundred Empire War. Lin Dong, hopefully, you will not be so weak the next time we meet. Someone truly strong does not merely rely on his tongue. Little Martin clearly understood that with Lin Dong's character, it was basically impossible for him to take such words from those around him to heart under normal circumstances. However, it was clear that Lin Dong had difficulty ignoring these words from the first woman in his life. Although part of the reason for Lin Dong's efforts over the years was to raise his strength and protect his family, perhaps only Lin Dong himself was aware that deep within his heart, he was haunted by the pride of a man. He did not wish to be looked down upon by those clear eyes. Yet, he was also aware of the enormous gap between his status and Lin Kuan Ju's. The latter was able to easily attain what he had to spend a great effort on. Moreover, her talent made many geniuses pale in comparison. She was a truly a lady blessed by the heavens. How could it be easy to catch up and surpass her? If it were not for that absurd situation in the ancient tomb back then, Lin Dong believed that he and Lin Kuang Ju might never have interacted with each other. However, there was no if in this world. Hence, two parallel lines changed their original trajectory, while Lin Dong had also dedicated all his effort into making himself powerful. Lin Kuang Ju had believed that it was impossible for him to defeat Lin Langshan back then. However, the genius who was once the most dazzling person of the Lin clan, had already been completely been wiped out by Lin Dong earlier. Lin Kuang Ju had believed that it was impossible for him to attain the right to participate in the Hundred Empire War back then. However, at this very moment, no one dared to deny that Lin Dong was this Hundred Empire War's champion and had also become the most dazzling existence in this Hundred Empire War. The current Lin Dong was also no longer that same innocent youth who had never seen the world. In this ancient battlefield, he had became aware of how small and weak the Great Yan Empire was. He also understood just how someone of Lin Kuang Ju's status had viewed those so-called geniuses from the Great Yan Empire back then. Lin Dong did not wish to act triumphantly in front of the woman who had left such a deep mark on his heart. All he wanted to do was to let the latter understand, that the weak youth in her eyes back then, would definitely exceed her expectations. Lin Dong's looked at the elegant figure with a cold fairy-like demeanor standing on a green lotus. A moment later, he suddenly smiled and slowly descended from the sky. Oh? It was extremely difficult for you to meet her again. Yet, you didn't go and greet her? Little Martin teasingly stared at Lin Dong and said. He had also recognized Lin Kuang Ju. Moreover, he also understood just what kind of mark this woman had left on Lin Dong's heart. It is still a little early. Lin Dong softly replied. He could sense an extremely powerful pressure from Lin Kuang Ju. It was clear that Lin Kuang Ju had become much stronger compared to four years ago. Even the current Lin Dong was still unable to match up to her. This kind of result did not cause Lin Dong to despair. Lin Kuang Ju was a child blessed by the heavens. It was within reason to have such an achievement in four years. Moreover, the reason Lin Dong chose not to meet her was not because he felt inferior. It was because he had said back then that the next time he appeared, he would directly tell her that a woman that he had slept with, would be as forever. Currently, Lin Dong did not think that he possessed the qualifications to say these words. The current him was no longer the arrogant and ignorant youth from back then. However, this meeting had at least allowed Lin Dong to know that there was still a gap between them. However, this gap was no longer as vast as before. This beautiful figure no longer caused him to feel a distant and untouchable feeling in his heart like before. There will definitely be an opportunity to meet in the future. Lin Dong raised his head and stared at the cold figure in the distance while he slowly spoke. Damn it! Zheng Zhang's expression was rather twisted as he watched the distorted spaces. From these spots, he could sense the aura's many experts becoming increasingly clearer. It was obvious that their plan this time around had been completely exposed. They have arrived rather quickly. Wu Dao was also a little surprised. He immediately smiled towards Zheng Zhang and said, Looks like your plans this time have failed again. Bastard! Zheng Zhang's face was steely green, and an incomparable rage boiled in his heart. They had laid in waiting for so long, however, all their hard work was wasted in the end. Since you are here, there is no need to leave. Our Yuan Gate will represent the Eastern Chuan region to trial you properly. Lu Tong laughed coldly. Currently, the situation of Zheng Zhang's group had completely turned around. Consider us unlucky this time around. 
However, whether we remain behind is not something that you, Lu Tong, is qualified to decide. Zheng Zhang mocked. You still dare to act tough at such a time. Lu Tong was extremely furious. He stepped forward as majestic Yuan power surged out and directly transformed into a Yuan power light plate. The plate flashed, tearing through the skies towards Zheng Zhang at a terrifying speed. Everyone, attack together. Do not allow them to escape. Lu Tong also cried out when he attacked. Humphrey. Zheng Zhang's expression was dark and solemn. His hand seal changed and the black cloud in the sky wiggled. Finally, an enormous black crack was torn in the space. Black light surged out from within the crack. In the end, it transformed into a black scroll that hovered in front of Zheng Zhang. An extremely frightening ripple was continuously spread out from within the black scroll. Heaven sealing array? Lu Tong's expression immediately changed when he saw the black scroll. There was a rich greed deep within his eyes. Swoosh. The black scroll shook gently and a black light pillar shot out. It swept downwards and shattered Lu Tong's attack. Immediately, Zheng Zhang's hand seal changed. Circular black light wildly swept out from the scroll, forming into an array under their feet. Hey, the Eastern Xuan region does indeed live up to its reputation. You will be allowed to manage this ancient battlefield for a while longer. However, in the next big Xuan region battle, this entire space shall belong to my Western Xuan region. Ha! Zheng Zhang laughed coldly at Lu Tong's group when the formation took shape. They plan on escaping. Lu Tong's expression changed immediately upon seeing this scene. He was just about to attack when monstrous black light erupted from the array. Black light pillars instantly wrapped around Zheng Zhang's group. After which, a ripping sound appeared. Space was torn and the array disappeared into nowhere. All the experts from the Western Xuan region, including Zheng Zhang, also disappeared at the same time. Bastard! Lu Tong immediately cursed furiously after seeing Zheng Zhang's group swagger away. Deacon Lu Tong, no need to be so furious. They possess the heaven ceiling array after all. No one can stop them if they truly wish to leave. Wu Dao smiled and spoke in an indifferent manner. I think that we should continue with the Hundred Empire War. However, I believe that there is already a prime candidate for the champion spot. Humphrey. Lu Tong snorted coldly in his heart when he heard this. His eyes were a little gloomy. No one knew what he was thinking. They've escaped. The experts from the various super sects felt a little regretful as they watched Zheng Zhang and the others flee. However, they could do nothing about it. A wasted trip. Let's pack up and leave. Some of the disciples from the super sects were not interested in staying any longer. All of them bowed towards the elders from their sects in the distance before turning around to leave. We should also leave. Atop a green lotus near a distorted space, Ling Kuangju's eyes quickly swept across the area. After which, she turned around, leading the dozen over figures behind her as they disappeared. After their figures disappeared, Ling Kuangju and the others transformed into numerous rainbows that rushed towards the exterior of this space and headed towards the Eastern Xuan region. DCH. When they were entering the exterior of the realm, a golden light suddenly shot over, and was received by a lady behind Ling Kuangju. Senior Mu, what is it? Someone asked curiously. A Yuan spirit transmission. Nothing much. It's only news about the current Hundred Empire War. The lady smilingly replied. What is there to talk about? The champion is most likely someone from the Tianyu One Empire. We are already used to it. A person curled her mouth and said. Ha, the Yuan Gate is indeed strong. But no matter how strong it is, the super genius from the Yuan Gate known as Little Yuan Lord is merely a frantic pursuer of our senior sister Kuangju. He he, it is rumored that he even plans of asking his elders to propose a marriage. A couple of ladies by the side giggled. Noisy. At the front, as she stood on a green lotus, Ling Kuangju's pretty eyes shifted a little. Her cold voice caused the ladies to extend their tongues, but they did not dare to continue making fun of her. All of you are wrong this time. The champion of this Hundred Empire War is not someone from the Tian Yuan Empire. The lady, who had received the Yuan spirit transmission, laughed. Oh? Then who is it? To actually be able to surpass those from the Tian Yuan Empire, everyone exclaimed in surprise. Even Ling Kuangju also slightly reduced her flying speed. I am not too familiar with this person and have no idea which empire he comes from. It seems to be someone called Lin Dong. Swoosh. The lady's voice had just sounded out when Ling Kuangju's figure suddenly froze. Disbelief suddenly surged in her usually cold and quiet lake-like eyes. Was it that Lin Dong? Did he really participate in the Hundred Empire War? In the darkness, Ling Kuangju's moving figure suddenly froze. Her bright eyes were no longer as calm as before. Instead, 
a rich disbelief had taken its place. Her emotions, which only surfaced rarely just like the blossoming of the epithelum flower, suddenly arose at this moment because of a single name uttered by her companions. Lindong. It was an ordinary name. However, it stirred violent ripples in Ling Huangju's calm lake-like heart. She would never forget what happened four years ago in that tiny Great Yan Empire. Over the past four years, she had buried that incident deep within her heart. Along with it, she had also buried the one called Lin Dong in the deepest recesses of her heart and tried to forget about him with the passage of time. However, despite burying it for four years, everything had been completely awakened with that name at this moment. The scene from four years ago also flooded out from the deepest parts of her mind, and was still so vivid. After what had happened back then, even with Lin Kuangju's character, she was secretly filled with shame, rage and killing intent towards him. She had once contemplated killing Lin Dong in order to wipe this incident clean forever. Of course, she did not do that in the end. Perhaps it was because of the steely metal the immature youth had displayed back then, while he was being pressured by a far stronger Lin Langshan, that had touched her. Or she was actually a kind person deep in her bones. Or it could be due to other reasons she was unaware of. In the end, she chose to let Lin Dong off and even saved him from Wang Yan. Perhaps only she knew just how complicated her emotions were back then. Ling Kuangju still remembered the youth's disheveled yet exceptionally bright expression back on that mountain peak, when he proclaimed to her that he would surpass Lin Langshan, and that ruffian-like tone when he declared that when he appeared in front of her once again, he would tell her that any woman that he slept with would be his. At that time, Ling Kuangju did not believe his words. She very clearly knew how weak Lin Dong was, and the distance between them was far beyond his imagination. After all, she was a member of a super sect and he was merely a branch family member from a low rank empire. The two of them belonged to completely different worlds. If nothing unexpected happened in this world, the two of them would never have met. Ling Kuangju did not mention this back then. In the face of the youth's bold promise, perhaps she could only treat it as a joke in her heart, or the right of frivolous youth. Ling Kuangju knew that once she left Great Yan Empire, this incident would be buried forever in her memories. Perhaps, she may not even step foot into that empire ever again and would gradually forget everything that happened and the people there. Even the young man called Lin Dong. This was what she had secretly believed until that name once again resounded in her ears. Only then did she realize that all her suppressed memories were still as vivid as before. That pitifully weak youth who was once forced into such a sorry state by Lin Langshan's aura, that youth who was forced into a perilous situation by Wang Yan. He had finally walked out of the tiny Great Yan Empire and rose above the rest in the Hundred Empire War. He had actually delivered on the promises that he had made back then. The gauze on her face gently trembled as Ling Kuangju gently bit her red lips. A complicated expression flowed in her bright and clear eyes. She could only imagine the effort and price Lin Dong must have paid in order to reach this level. This guy. The steely metal that had touched her back then seemed to have not changed at all. Senior Kuangju? What is it? Behind Ling Kuangju. The other girls were also startled when she suddenly stopped. Promptly, they cautiously asked. Ling Kuangju gently lifted her head and breathed in an icy cold breath of air through her gauze. As the cold flowed through her heart, she used it to suppress the surging emotions within. It's nothing. Ling Kuangju softly said. She leaned back her head and turned her eyes to the back, as if she wanted to see through space and catch a glimpse of that familiar figure again. Moments later, she finally turned around, gently clenching her slender jade-like hand. No longer hesitating, the green lotus beneath her feet flickered, before it transformed into a meteor and flew out. Lin Dong, it is indeed surprising that you can make it here. However, now that you are here, you will finally understand the gap between us. I am not looking down on you. The fact that you can reach such a stage is more than enough proof of your talent. However, this alone is still not enough for you to utter those words you had said previously before me. You are the first man to have taken my body. If you are truly capable, make yourself the last. However, it is not so simple to conquer me, Lin Kuangju. Hopefully, you will have the genuine qualifications to utter those words in front of me the next time we meet in the Eastern Chuan region. Regardless of the outcome, at the very at least, I admire your courage and conviction. She's gone. Atop the Hundred Empire Mountain, Lin Dong stared at the spot where Lin Kuangju vanished as his lips gently pressed together and his originally surging heart gradually calmed down. However, he did not feel anxious. Since he had reached the Eastern Xuan region, he believed that he would have the opportunity to meet her again in future. The currently Ling Kuangju is quite powerful. Little Martin casually said. From what I can tell, 
she should have reached the peak of nirvana stage and she is merely one step away from the life and death stage. Peak of the nirvana stage. Lin Dong's pupils shrunk a little before he involuntarily sighed in his heart. She was truly a lady blessed by the heavens. In merely four years, she had improved tremendously. Her progress made even himself feel as if there was no chance of catching up. Hey hey, I believe in you. I believe it will be quite satisfying to conquer such a lady. Little Martin patted Lin Dong's shoulder before he laughed in a strange manner. Lin Dong rolled his eyes at him. Oh? Is brother Lin Dong interested in Lin Kuangju? While Lin Dong and Little Martin spoke, Liu Bei clearly saw the direction Lin Dong had been staring at. Immediately, he asked with a twinkly smile. Do you know her? Lin Dong was somewhat startled as he asked. Hey, is there anyone in Eastern Xuan region who does not know Lin Kuangju of the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace? She is the direct disciple of the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace Empress and she holds an extraordinary status. Furthermore, her looks are out of this world and countless geniuses from various super sects have a crush on her. It is a pity that no one has been able to peel off her gauze and peek at her beauty. Lu Bei laughed. There was an unconcealable passion in his words as he spoke. Lin Dong scratched his nose in an unnatural manner while a peculiar expression filled his eyes. Not only did he peel off her gauze and saw her face, he even, when he thought of that absurd deed that happened back then, even someone like Lin Dong involuntarily felt a slight heat in his heart. To a man, there was nothing more satisfying in this world than conquering a nice queen. Of course, Lin Dong was not dumb enough to mention this incident. Even though he had stood out in the Hundred Empire War, there was still an extremely huge gap between him and the direct disciples of the super sex. If news that he had defiled this goddess got out, several of Lin Kuangju's admirers would come hunting for him. So she is from Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. Nonetheless, Lin Dong managed to uncover Lin Kuangju's background from Liu Bei. He had never expected that she was someone from Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. In a manner of speaking, Lin Dong had quite a strong affinity with this sect. In fact, back in Great Yan Empire, he even managed to obtain a Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace's martial art from that fellow. With these thoughts in mind, Lin Dong involuntarily chuckled before he stretched his back. When his eyes once again turned to look at that spot where Lin Kuangju vanished, a small smile appeared on his face. Meanwhile, a tiny bit of anticipation gushed out from his heart. Lin Kuangju, you had better be careful if we meet once again. The super sect experts above the Hundred Empire Mountain slowly descended after the battle came to an end, before finally coming to rest in the skies above the mountaintop. The commotion on the mountaintop immediately died down when everyone saw this, and a passionate look burned in the eyes of many. Evidently, they were aware of what was going to happen next. Everyone, I think that there is no need to continue this Hundred Empire War until the end this time around, is there? Wu Dao beamed as he looked at the mountaintop, before looking towards the remaining experts from the various super sects. The final Nirvana Golden Ranking battle is merely to select the most outstanding champion. I think that there is already someone suitable for that spot, no? The expert from the Great Desolate Palace also nodded and laughed. From the side, some of the other experts from the super sects also nodded slightly upon hearing this. After which, their gazes turned downwards in unison and finally gathered onto a tall young figure below. Lu Tong's eyebrows knitted together slightly. Chin Tian's failure to obtain the champion spot was now somewhat out of his hands. However, there was nothing he could say at this moment. He had declared earlier that the person who could stop the formation would become the champion. There was no way for him to take back his words. The so-called Hundred Empire War Champion might appear to be just an empty title, but it was quite important to their super sects. This was because according to the rules, the super sect that the champion joined would be able to gain the largest number of disciples in the Hundred Empire War. If one wished to ensure the continuous prosperity of one sect, the pouring in of new blood was critical. These geniuses that stood out in the Hundred Empire War all possessed extremely outstanding talent. Their enlistment into any sect would be of extremely beneficial for a sect's long-term prospects. Although the selection of disciples from the Hundred Empire War was merely one of the means for these super sects to recruit disciples, it was obvious that no sect would find having too many of them a bother. Over the years, the eight super sects had argued frequently on the distribution of the disciples recruited in the Eastern Chuan region. It was also due to these arguments that some rules had been made. An example was this Hundred Empire War. It used the champion sect selection to decide which super sect could obtain the most disciples. If one divided the disciple resource in the Hundred Empire War into ten, the sect which the champion joined would be able to get another portion on top of their original portion. This was basically double of the other sects. The victors of the last couple of Hundred Empire Wars were mostly from the Tianyuan Empire. 
As a faction under the Yuan Gate, these champions would naturally join the Yuan Gate without exception. This had also allowed the Yuan Gate to become the greatest beneficiary from the Hundred Empire War. However, this time around, the appearance of Lin Dong had upset the situation. Even Lu Tong did not dare to guarantee that Lin Dong would choose to join the Yuan Gate. Although their Yuan Gate was truly the strongest super sect in the Eastern Chuan region, Lu Tong felt a faint unease regarding Lin Dong. The eyes of the eight super sect experts hovering in the air were currently gathered onto Lin Dong below them. Even the gazes from the surrounding mountaintops also turned as all of them gathered on Lin Dong. The sudden arrival of every gaze in this place caused Lin Dong to be stunned. Only then did he sense that this champion spot was not as simple as he had imagined. Lin Dong, which super sect do you intend to join? Wu Dao smilingly stared at Lin Dong. That friendly tone made Lin Dong's hair stand a little. Wu Dao's voice had just barely faded when the remaining seven pairs of eyes focused even more intently at Lin Dong. With such a lineup staring at him, even Lin Dong could not help but feel a little uneasy despite his character. He was merely a disciple who wished to join a super sect. There was no need to put such terrifying attention on him right. By the side, Little Marta narrowed his eyes slightly as he watched this scene. The selection of a super sect was very important. This was because Lin Dong needed to train there for a period of time after this. Once one joined a super sect, one's body would be imprinted with the brand of this sect. The competition between the sects of the Eastern Xuan region was extremely intense. They were all large boats, and if a large boat overturned, the disciples within it would also end up in an incomparably miserable fate. From what one could tell of the current situation within the Eastern Xuan region, the Yuan Gate was definitely the strongest. Hence, it was likely that the resources it had would also surpass the other super sects. If one trained in the Yuan Gate, one would be treated rather well, and perhaps even have a rather bright future. Of course, Little Martin greatly disliked this strongest super sect of the Eastern Chuan region. The Celestial Demon Martin and the Yuan Gate were bitter enemies. The ancestors of both parties had been killed by the other side. Therefore, he personally did not wish for Lin Dong to join the Yuan Gate. Of course, if Lin Dong still chose them in the end, Little Martin would not object. Amongst the remaining seven super sects, the Dao sect was a pretty good option. Of course, if Lin Dong wished to be closer to Ling Kuangju, joining the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace was also not bad. Lin Dong's physical body was also quite strong, and the Great Desolate Palace was widely known for their powerful physical bodies. Lin Dong's mental energy also seemed to be quite decent, and the Divine Sect focused on mental energy cultivation. When Little Martin thought about it, he suddenly felt a little strange as he discovered that Lin Dong, this jack of all trades, seemed to have quite a number of super sects that he could choose to join. While these thoughts were running through Little Martin's mind, Lin Dong also frowned a little. Countless people around were quietly staring at him. Their eyes contained an envy that was somewhat difficult to hide. If these people wanted to join a super sect, they would have to see if the other party wanted to accept them. However, he had it easy. All of these super sects could only watch and wait for him to make his choice. The top of the mountain was silent for a moment before Lin Dong finally raised his head. After which, he respectfully cupped his hands towards the eight people in the sky and said, Elders, Lin Dong wishes to join the Dao sect. Clamor. Lin Dong's words undoubtedly stirred a commotion on the mountaintop. Quite a number of people were stunned. They clearly did not expect that Lin Dong would choose the Dao sect. Although the Dao sect was not considered as the weakest amongst the eight super sects, it was also not considered to be the strongest. Moreover, the Dao sect had should be the least disciples amongst the eight super sects. From a certain point of view, its reputation was inevitably a little inferior. Therefore, many people were unable to comprehend why Lin Dong would give up the strongest Yuan Gate and join the Dao sect. Lin Dong also felt a little helpless in the face of the surrounding commotion. The Yuan Gate was indeed extremely powerful. If he joined, he would indeed possess an extremely strong backer. However, it was clearly impossible for Lin Dong to do so due to Little Martin. Moreover, once Little Martin's identity was revealed and the Yuan Gate wanted to attack him, Lin Dong would definitely help Little Martin given his character. Therefore, he might even be expelled and hunted by the Yuan Gate. Since that was the case, why would he enter and go looking for trouble? As for the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace, it was also quite powerful. However, Ling Kuangju was there. Moreover, her status was definitely extremely high. Should Lin Dong enter with a disciple status, it would not be befitting of the arrogant words he had once spoken in front of her. Lin Dong could imagine just how awkward it would be after meeting Ling Kuangju there as a disciple of the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. After some thought, Lin Dong had also eliminated the Great Desolate Palace and the Divine Sect. 
Therefore, after much pondering, it appeared that the Dao sect was most suitable for him, although that old fellow Wu Dao seemed to have some intention of cheating him. The expressions of the eight super sect experts in the air were interesting after they heard Lin Dong's choice. Wu Dao's smiling face appeared as though it was a booming flower. The remaining people had regretful faces. Only Lu Tong had a dark flashing over his eyes. Lin Dong had given up the Yuan Gate and chose the Dao sect. This had undoubtedly caused him to lose a great amount of face. It was unavoidable for him to be reprimanded for his bad performance when he returned this time around. Lin Dong, this decision is no trifling matter, and it concerns your future. Do not end up making a mistake that you will regret for the rest of your life. Lu Tong faintly spoke. Everyone could hear some fury and a hidden threat in his voice. Lin Dong's eyes hardened and felt some displeasure in his heart. Lu Tong was a little too narrow-minded. If the Yuan Gate were filled with such people, it would be far better not to join them. Lu Tong, choosing a sect is an individual's decision. These words of yours are really a little shameful. Wu Dao raised his eyes and said. Your Yuan Gate might be strong but my Dao sect is also no pushover. Back then, a single disciple of my path sect could charge into your Yuan Gate and kill three great elders alone. How is such capability weak? Wu Dao, you actually dare to bring this matter up? Lu Tong's expression changed drastically as he cried furiously. What this old man said is the truth. What can you do to me? Wu Dao's eyes also suddenly turned dark and cold at this moment. He stared at Lu Tong and slowly replied. Humphrey Wu Dao, that evil creature back then was someone from your Dao sect desolate hall. Looks like your desolate hall still bears a grudge regarding this matter. Hey, if you are unhappy, you can come looking for us. That evil thing even forced the R sect master to intervene so at least he should be satisfied with his death. Lu Tong's expression was cold and stern as he spoke. You still dare to utter such nonsense? This old man shall cripple you today. A savage expression surged up on Wu Dao's face at this moment. He suddenly took a step forward as monstrous Yuan power immediately swept out. His Yuan power was extremely strange. It was as though it contained an extremely powerful energy. It rose endlessly while it fluctuated, appearing to be filled with an endless amount of vitality mysterious life stage? Lu Tong was clearly also able to sense Wu Dao's bizarre Yuan power. His pupils immediately shrunk tightly as he also cried out in fury, cripple me? You dare? A similarly incomparably majestic Yuan power surged out from within Lu Tong's body after the cry sounded out. Although it was inferior to Wu Dao, it was also extremely frightening. The atmosphere in the sky instantly became hostile. Everyone on the mountaintop watched the two people from the two super sects that had suddenly turned on each other as a chill ran through their hearts. After which, numerous eyes turned towards Lin Dong. This fellow was really someone who caused trouble wherever he went.